Hello and welcome back to my Let's Challenge of Bioshock. In the last episode, we completed Arcadia, finally, the third main area in the game. And now we are here in Fort Frolic, ready to start. Essentially, uh, the next major section here. So we can see that uh, Atlas is not a big fan of Sander Cohen. Um, uh, I think this is when we start finding these to be exceptionally difficult. Uh, although possible still, it looks... We just haven't been, uh, haven't quite invested enough in the... Um, I think it's is that just that is going to be just the possible call. Yeah, we haven't quite invested enough in um, uh, ah, what they're called the uh, tonics that allow us um, the gene tonics that give us better uh, stuff there. So now we start seeing a bunch of new things here. Obviously, uh, we can now hack several um, several. Uh, gene tonics uh, that you can't actually get any other way so it's actually quite important to get them um, we're also seeing a large number of other pretty important uh, ammunitions these were the ones that we managed to make last time we've now got um, these new three here as well electric gel being particularly valuable um, as just a key way in being able to uh, completely destroy big daddies um, but what you can see is distilled water is needed for that, and that's relatively rare, um, which is why we collect as much as possible in Arcadia. Uh, we see batteries, uh, sh brass tubes, sorry, are pretty rare there um, for the uh, heat seeking RPGs, which are also pretty valuable. Um, so, yeah, so there's certainly a limit to what we can sort of, and then you can see that steel screws are also relatively rare, just, and the hoses, although admittedly we have already made some of this, so that is also going to play its part. Um, we'll get onto that sort of later on, like right at the end, I think is really good for when we can actually sort of actually make a full um, investment, uh, investment into ensuring that we've invented everything. Uh, you do get trophies, I believe, for inventing everything. So, naturally, uh, given the structure of this playthrough, it is going to be invaluable to us to be able to invent. Uh, okay. Fort Frolic is, for some, the best level in the game. It is a really enjoyable level, sort of slap bang in the middle of everything. Um, just before um, we get the major sort of uh, plot details that we get in the next chapter. And it's incredibly sort of character, it, it, it's such a well designed level. It's got loads and loads of character to it. Um, you can gamble at these slot machines. Uh, I'm pretty sure you do largely lose money, but if you do hit the jackpot, there is a trophy, I believe. Um, and there is plenty of chances for us to um, do this later on. Unfortunately, it looks like it takes a while for us to be able to uh, trigger two at once. So currently we, are at, we haven't actually lost any money. We're actually gaining money. We'll lose maybe three more times each. I don't know if we can destroy these um, vending machines. But these are, you know, one armed bandits. But it's pretty easy for us to just keep doing this and eventually. Um, so three more on each. So we'll go one. Two, 
It does not seem to be a particularly costly way of actually, you know. We're obviously not making money, but we're not really losing money at the same time. That's three in each. So yeah, no luck, but you know, wasn't really expecting it. Um, we'll try that later on. I'm pretty sure there's a big area where we can do such things. Uh, okay, so you can smash the windows here um, to get those health packs, but doing so will trigger the alarm um, along with that Eve hypo. Um, I do not know where the bot shutdown panel is. It looks like it's just ahead of us here, essentially. So um, it would not be difficult for you to essentially just, you know, run over and grab that. Uh, there, yeah, just here. Uh, indeed, that might be a tactic we use later on because we've got some um, rather worrying uh, enemies. There are quite a lot of spider splices in Fort Frolic. Uh, they sort of appear throughout the level. So anyway, we'll head towards the bathosphere, try and get towards Andrew Ryan. But if you haven't guessed already, they wouldn't set this up as a level for you just to walk to the nearby bathosphere and get out. Why, of course not. That would not be the way of Sander Cohen. Ah, that's better. Atlas Ryan. Atlas Ryan. Da, 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 da. Time was, you could get something decent on the radio. The artist has a duty to seduce the ear and delight the spirit. So say goodbye to those two blowhards and hello to an evening with Sander Cohen. So here we have it. Sander Cohen, this artist, artiste, I guess you could say. Um, you'll find throughout his uh, artwork that is scattered throughout Fort Frolic that he has a very continuous sort of use of these... Um, human mannequin sort of so you like maybe covered in paper mache or something like that and the use of these masks um, often rabbits sometimes other animals too and it's almost associated with Santa Cohen that we see a lot of the spider splices and So, as always, spider splices can be a little bit of a pain. They do quite a lot of damage, you just need to be consistent with them. Uh, because they move fast and agilely, it can be a pain just to sort of keep track of exactly where they are. Um, you've just sort of always got to keep an eye on the ceilings, etc. It doesn't look, it looks like we've managed to get through the uh, spider splicer gauntlet, which is always good. I'm always slightly suspicious. because we've got, um, so with um, one of our, uh, with research on security bots, uh, we can now auto hack them as opposed to needing to um, uh, actually go through the hacking process, which is pretty cool. 
that see that sort of uh, come through. There's usually a second. Um, there we go, lovely. We don't really need the um, the e-pipo in there, so instead we'll just head across and enter Fort Frolic itself. If we can. For some reason we can't. That to me tells me there's a spider splicer somewhere around here, but I don't know where. Feels like a glitch. How did that, that lockbox get there? Anyway, so normally uh, the doors would open. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Um, I'm sure the doors would open. So there we go, that means we finally get access. I don't know why that took slightly so long. You can see more, uh, more gambling machines, a vending machine. Uh, we will auto hack this time. Buy some uh, shotgun ammo. Ooh. So there we have sort of like a showcase of everything here in Fort Frolic. Thank me for jamming the transmissions of those boors, Atlas and Ryan. Let them have their squabble. The artist, yes, the artist knows there is richer earth to till. Okay, so. For example, I test you, little more, but for a reason. I test all my disciples. Some shine like galaxies. Okay, so Santa Cohen has invited us in as I try to uh, hack away here. Uh, So, yeah, Sander Cohen is a great character, and it's a really cool section of the game uh, that is Fort Frolic. It's just full of the design, and, uh, you know, it really captures this city. It really gives a good impression of the city, because quite a lot of the places we've been to might not necessarily be associated fully with a lot of city life. I mean, I suppose, the, you know, you've got the gardens, which are more naturey, I guess. You've got um, the medical pavilion, and you've got a, uh, you know, uh, these sort of um, fisheries. But now, you know, we're here, now we're in like an entertainment district uh, of the city, which is really cool. And there are a few important things to sort of notice. Um, namely, these two things are quite important. Um, we have a code that we cannot uh, get in order to get Medical Expert 2. And we have a massive chest here, which we can only unlock if we get co Sound the Cohen special key. Uh, and to do that will take a while. Rather than head straight for Cohen right now, uh, what we can do is we'll um, take a little side route just down this way. Um, there's a lot of quite cool stuff. 
around here. Um, and obviously some audio diaries, all the usual sort of stuff that, um, you know, we look for in our uh, sort of explorations. out here. So it cannot carry any more pistol or armor piercing rounds. Essentially um, you'll find that the pistol just gets sort of obsolete by the end of the game. I thought we didn't see Fuggish later, but I'm obviously wrong. I am surprised, actually. I did not think we saw Fuggish, but there we go. You know what followed, but it's... We see one of the uh, sort of minor characters of this area, um, Cobb. Uh, essentially, um, I mean, we'll see later on um, what sort of Sander Cohen is going to have us sort of do with everyone here. Anyway. Oh, shit. Why did you put a turret in a bathroom? Excellent question. How are we doing on turrets? That is two. Sorry, uh. We'll just buy that one out. Uh. Yeah, so the game, as you can see, is sort of making a note like, you know, maybe you need to be thinking about using other plasmids. Interestingly, if you use liquid nitrogen, uh, i.e., the freezing, on, um. a on a machine uh, you can actually slow down the rate at which the flow goes so it will really slow down the rate at which um, the uh, at which the flow rate you know that uh, machine Just need to be aware. Obviously, again, we see more sort of of these um, mannequins arranged into various sort of grotesque poses. Uh, we'll see these throughout. Some of them are splices disguised as that. Some of them are not. Uh, it's difficult often to tell which is which. And sometimes the game doesn't even let you. Essentially, you know, if you try and attack them, they won't. Uh, or they won't appear, and then they'll appear afterwards, and then you know that they're sort of alive. Uh, so you can hear the um, the cameras rattling around uh, up there as we can head into the salon. Camera first aid. An empty register. And some cash. And once more, another area where sort of everything's covered in a this um, uh, paper mache almost mix.
that you know, needed any sort of more uh, description on what sort of person Santa Cohen is. There you go. Uh, we can just auto hack the safe. Uh, has another first aid kit in it. And once more, we'll get our Electro Bolt in preparation for some of the security that we can hear sort of rattling around around here. Where is that camera? I think the camera is just behind there. Lovely. Okay, so let's continue. We've got another U invent that we could hack, but I mean, there's actually no real point at the moment. We can get the artist's feud diary, which I think is yeah, for Sullivan. Hypo in there that we can. <laughs> How are we doing on? Yeah. Not great, but oh well. Spider splices are always a bit of a pain, but there we go. Cool. So now nah, we'll go. We can go back to the safe and get another HP, uh, another health kit if we wish. So anyway, we can continue to head around this way. I think this is the other side of the entrance. Um, no, it isn't. Not quite. At some point, there is like a, another entrance. We can get a battery. We can get a rather valuable uh, weapons vendor. Well, we made an excellent choice going this way. Give me one of those. Beautiful. Okay, so yeah, so we started seeing uh, also these things, um, steel tip bolts and um, incendiary bolts. Essentially, um, those two weapons will start, uh, they're both for a weapon that we don't currently have, uh, but soon will. Uh, and I think this is the last main thing that we need to do in this area for now. Uh, another turret. I should probably... There we go. Ah, oh, damn. So there, we get the uh, hacking automatically uh, succeeds. So we have that for now, both turrets and for the security bots, which is really good. We see yet another U invent. There's obviously quite a few of them down here. Uh, there's the power to the people station, and... There should also be a diary down here. Some hired men tried to sell me on those fancy Oxford club CDs. No thanks. I told her I'm a nickel time man. Always will be. Why? Now they smoke good and don't cost half a damn. Here's the things that made out of seashells and fish eggs. I do like the fact that they sort of don't, you know, not every single, um, audio diary is like relevant to the plot in any way or you know has lots and lots of Ryan espousing his philosophy or stuff like that sometimes it's nice just to sort of have something that just adds to the um, you know the feeling of the world anyway that sounded like a Houdini anyway 
So, uh, we can increase the uh, shotgun rate of fire here, which is really good. I think that should give us a trophy. It does. For having one fully upgraded weapon. Obviously, we could have tried doing that earlier. Um, we certainly could have done that earlier, but... Um, yeah. Don't need to get everything super fast. Um, there's more than enough enemies through the game that... You know, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. Why did they think I did that? Uh, oh, okay. So it's, it's just saying that. Um, that uh, nitro. Anyway, I need to find a. Here, there we go. Are you a nitro? No, you're just a... You're another Houdini. Okay, cool. I guess we might have missed. I didn't think we did, but we might have missed. Boom. Ah, you are a Nitro Slicer. There we go. That's what we want to see. And there we go. Nitro Slicer fully researched. That'll be another trophy for us. Jeez. Nearly died. Not good. Come on. Concentrate. It's getting a little... Um... Ah, we can't... For whatever reason, we couldn't um, unhack that uh, spike, uh, the uh, the bot there. So that was dis disappointing. And up and there and across and down. And that one. Lovely. So that's my bot. Lovely. In here was the safe. That was the first aid kit. Just a little low on just general health and stuff, so. Also low on auto hacks, which is never really a good thing just because, you know. You are going to need them. Almost certainly. You can see that the uh, the flow rate has certainly sped up from the last uh, area. There. There. Lovely. Uh, now we can make the uh, automatic act tools, I think. And it'll cost less. Okay, so that is everything down that sort of little section there. Uh, the power to the people station obviously being the uh, highlight, as it were. And um, we can now go ahead and actually meet with Cohen. Um, there's a another audio diary here. Stood up again. Second time this week. Ever since my face was... Well, Steinman worked on me, but it was never the same since the blast. Me being alone so much gives a girl time to think. Who could hate me so much they'd ruin me like this? What did I do to them? I keep thinking of all them bandits and terrorists. Ryan's got locked up in Paula Square and I get so mad. Sometimes I can hardly breathe. And if I could only confront them, tell them what they did to me, how they're ruining everything for me, for rapture. Maybe I... Well, maybe I feel better. So we see that Diane McClintock is starting to have sort of her feelings uh, sort of torn up and she now wants to confront the, uh, as she describes them, you know, the terrorists that Ryan has uh, hooked up in Apollo Square. We'll actually go to Apollo Square there, so the Diane McClintock sort of story does rattle on and does continue into the, um, continue through, which I always think is a great thing. Anyway. So, now that we're here, we finally get the chance to sort of 
have a scene with a Cohen. We do it. We have two bots. Awesome. As we should. Uh, we'll just start the hack. Being Nitro Splices was good. Very happy to get that research started. Um, come on, there you are. There you go. No need to follow me. I don't think we can go up the elevator, so... Kerosene, some coffee, always good. Chemical Throw is doing a great job as well. So they came from around here. Um, I think we'll talk to Cohen and then that will sort of, uh, and then sort of finish off tidying up around this area and then I think um, we'll be done for this episode. Oh, we can't actually go through that door, that's why. Silly. So we head upstairs. And there's another... Cohen's opinion on a fellow muso and you'll find that essentially that's Cohen's office uh, we can't go there until the end of essentially we'll see him here and then he'll retreat there and he won't uh, let us do until we're done with till we finish everything that he wants us to do anyway we'll head up the elevator as unfortunately our security bots must wait behind So this is the uh, back entrance to where we just were. There's two rather mean turrets there that we should probably... Uh there we go. Just 
quickly. That was a bit of a mess, but eh. Get a brass tube. We shouldn't really have taken all that damage, but it was good, good um, pictures to be taking, actually. Uh, give me a, one of those. That's everything we need. Lovely. Not too difficult, that one. And it's another first aid kit, which is excellent news for me. Uh, I'm just going to deactivate this box, because otherwise... If it explodes, it'll obviously do damage to me, so... Um, the ones that are really sort of damaged, I often just uh, deactivate. I know why you've come. So he's opened this door. So we do want to head down the eight, the elevator once more, I think. Um, we want to head up to that top floor. Um, you can hear, obviously, he's getting... Uh, you can hear Cohen's crazedness. Uh, we will head back to the atrium, and then that will probably finish off this episode. But um, you might have noticed that there was a... Um, a gene tonic at the top of the uh, theatre here, and I'm hoping that we can actually get access to it. Either from this floor, or maybe it's actually from opposite. Uh, or maybe we essentially jump around from here. Ah, no, you can't actually get behind. So there's obviously... Oh yeah, yeah, okay, cool. I now know where we are. So, e pipos. Hello. So I just check all these doors. Um, pretty sure there's nothing too valuable in a lot of these Some pet bars. Some cake. And nothing there and then we'll just zip around to the other side and uh, do that again eat that happy noodle <laughs> so you can see there's 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 health packs uh sorry health um health machines at both sides as well so we can't actually access that one which is the one i think we need so in order to do it, you do actually have to jump across. Unfortunately, we fail miserably there, so... Definitely some people around. I don't know where they are. Because there's no door to hack, so I'm pretty sure it's just making your way around. There we go, lovely. So we get Alarm Expert, um, which gives you two fewer alarm tiles when hacking. Uh, as you can see, uh, Cohen actually recognizes that. Oh, there's a beam just directly opposite us. Who is that? I found it that way! Houdinis also start appearing more often, uh, as you might imagine. But again, we've really done well in terms of the amount of research we've done, which makes dealing with them a lot easier. See where that one particularly is. There it is. There. 
beautiful. Looks like he's actually travelled back or travelled under. Either way, he's triggered the uh, alarm. So. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to kill him. Unless he wants to actually get involved. Okay, so with that being done, or maybe that was actually an alarm triggered by someone else. We can head back to here, head back to the atrium, Do head down, and so here we I have it. Dust. This is what they'll point to. My quad tick. My masterpiece. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Touch it. So there we go, in order to, uh, we now have the sort of, the main story that's going to be happening through the rest of this chapter. We need to be taking pictures of three more of Cohen's disciples, dead, obviously, uh, and then adding them to this, uh, his masterpiece, his quad tick, uh, as he so calls it. Um, this rather gruesome, macabre, you know, artwork in the loosest term, I guess. Um, and yeah, so, uh, and we're going to get to know each of those people as we sort of go through. Um, Cobb is one of them. You heard him before he's at the record store. There's a few others. Um, there's obviously two more, and we get, uh, I think we get audio diaries from both of them as well. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. And each time you can return here, Cohen will give you a reward each time. You don't need to come back here uh, every time. Uh, you can actually sort of do it all at once if you so desire. Um, it just very much depends. But essentially, uh, what this requires us to do is we'll then actually head towards Plaza, Poseidon Plaza, which is where all of these guys are. Um, and we very quickly encounter one of them. Um, if we were to head straight through. But I think what we'll do is we'll call this episode to an end here. As we see, we have a sort of an icy path ahead of us. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of my Let's Challenge Bioshock, and I hope you'll join me on the next.